Hey folks, welcome back to the dig. Last time we discovered that a giant asteroid was actually an alien starship, and today we're going to get to work on finding a way off this desolate rock out in the middle of deep space. So let's get to work. Hmm. Hmm. Extremely insightful, Boston. I guess this isn't a natural geological formation, right, Brink? Look how close the stones fit. Like ancient Peruvian masonry. So it's primitive. There was nothing primitive about ancient Peruvian masonry, Commander Lo. I wonder what they use this for. Well, nothing else around here, so let's get moving out into the wider world. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Looks like we have three locations to check out, and I'm right-handed, so let's head to the right. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? Well, struck out over here. Absolutely nothing to work with. Let's head back out into the clearing. Not just plants, but creatures, too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Marcus. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Well, let's take a look at these graves. Maybe something cool got buried here. It looks like something is buried here. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Looks like it might be useful later. It looks like something is buried here. Maybe whatever this was naturally evolved jetpacks. Let's dig up its corpse. What? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero, who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't gonna help, Brink. 
This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. She's right. One of those bones in particular looks real nice. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Well, we're done here. Let's go check out that last site. of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Or gone. I don't know. Empty planet might be a little bit hard to get off of. Let's see if we can learn anything about this ship. These engines are enormous, but there is no evidence of any type of combustion. No scorching, no oxidation. The design of this ship is not consistent with the vast geometric structures we've encountered so far. So this ship is not from around here? Not in my opinion. Perhaps they were stranded here, much like us. It's a possibility. I wonder what power source it used. Let's take a look inside and find out. Maybe we can use it ourselves. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, Brink is going to kind of poke around and not accomplish anything useful for a while, so we're just going to bulldoze our way in here and get stuff well, done. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. It looks like a piece of equipment from the ship. Alien technology and conveniently portable. Let's see if we can find out what it does. It's indicating to the right. Maybe some kind of tracking device? We'll follow it around later, but for now there's one more thing we need to do in here. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? 
Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> How poignant. It still might be useful. Not gonna leave without it, of course, but we've also got this little thing over here. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Literally on an alien planet, Brink. I don't know how we could have missed that when we first walked in. It's beautiful. I can't determine what it's made from. You don't know shit about shit. Anyway, let's get out of here and see if we can figure out where that tracking device leads us. It's indicating approximately that direction. It seems to be pointing at this mound. Time to do some more digging. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Shut the fuck up, Brink. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. It looks like a bracelet. This artifact is very delicate. It looks like it may be useful as well as ornamental. I wouldn't mind wearing it, but it's too small for my wrist. Once again, Brink, you don't know shit about shit. It looks like a bracelet. Then again, we don't know much more. It's pointing at me. Anyway, we've exhausted everything there is to do out here, so let's make our way back to the center and see if we can come up with a game plan. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something. Or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive. Or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. Whatever that thing was, it was definitely pointing at something. With my luck, this is probably the alien equivalent of poison ivy. I don't think I'll touch it. Now I'm just stalling. Let's see what this hole's got in it. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. 
Maybe there's something under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. No! It's completely... I can't... No! Ah! Break! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Boston. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao. Sayonara. A Wiedersehen. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then, adios, ciao, sayonara, a Wiedersehen. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah, all my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Sorry, Brink. Just wanted to move on without you. I'll see you all next time.